Folks, I said it before and I'll say it again. This current administration, yes, Flashbang's administration, absolutely loves the fact that Russia has decided to do a full-scale incursionary measure upon Ukraine. A little sleep deprivation there. <laughs> anyway, unbelievable how much they're enjoying it. And they're enjoying it because they have a new scapegoat. They have a new thing that they can blame everything on. And it is absolutely unbelievable. At the time of this recording, I am reading an article, and I must have missed it in the last press conference, where Jen Psaki, who is somebody that, oh, uh, anyway, we'll just leave that be. But she is undoubtedly one of Flashbang's greatest liars. She stands up and she basically says this. I'm going to read you the quote. She says, we do anticipate that higher energy fertilizer, wheat, and corn prices could impact the price of growing and purchasing critical food supplies for countries around the world. She went on to say that because of Russia, because of what's going on in Ukraine, that the United States is actually not going to experience food shortages, but they're going to end up spending a whole lot more money for food. Again, this is them blaming uh, inflation on what's going on in Ukraine. They're not blaming inflation for their foolish decisions that led to the global supply shortages. They're not blaming it on the really bad energy policy. They're not blaming it on all the other foolish things that they've done. That's beside the point. They're not blaming it on the fact that they actually wanted this to happen and they're destroying the country. They're just simply saying, it's all Putin's fault. Now, one of the things that caught me on this article that I'm reading is, is the thing that's actually blowing my mind because she is predicting his administration, their regime, is actually predicting the, the countries that will be having food shortages. Notice the countries that they list. This is pretty important. She says that there are countries in Africa, the Middle East and Southeast Asia. By the way, that's just the formula that you need. Food shortages in those area to propagate what already is a powder keg with respect to Ukraine and to create a world war. Folks, I think we're seeing something like this coming around the corner unless God does something absolutely extraordinary. These politicians are warmongers because they want to destroy the country and they want to do it real bad because they know that that is the fastest way to get to their goal with respect to globalism. And as the president said just a few days ago, the new world order. Folks, it's changing. Times are changing. But there's one thing that's certain that we know, and that is the fact that Jesus Christ is coming soon. But understand this. It never absolves us of our responsibility to fight for righteousness. We need to do the right things. Every legal remedy available to us, we need to pursue because it's worth it, because we're standing on the word of God, doing what he's asked us to do, understanding the fact that he's coming soon for his church. God bless you guys. We love you. Keep fighting the good fight.